Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Guess what we have? Snack crate for June. It just seems like yesterday we got the May box. It's coming faster. Um, This one says, hola, on the top. So I'm going to take a guess that we're either going to Mexico or Spain with this box. So we shall see. I have not opened it up. It's still sealed. See? Still sealed. So I just took a lucky guess. Let me get my glasses on because this is going to be easier to read some of these items. So let's go ahead and get into this box. So I get the middle box, which is like the original box, I think they call it. And then I a la carte add on a beverage. So let's go ahead and see. Are we ready? Drum roll, please. Oh, we have Spain. All right. So when you open this up, it's a neat little flap that tells you a little bit of fun facts and all about Spain and different things. Um, it says Spanish music brings on the heat. Listen to our favorite. It's below. So it has a little QRS to scan for that. Um, and then inside we have a card. A little, a little peek. Not too much though. Because I'm not going to spoil it. Oh, interesting. All right. I was looking at that. So this has, um, it has what's inside the box. It has what's in the mini and what's in the original. I have the original box. Uh, and then it also includes a recipe from the country and it has Salamore Joe, which is, looks almost like a, it's got tomatoes. So it almost looks like a tomato soup. If you know what that is, go ahead and let me know. Um, I don't normally do tastings with these because I have a couple boxes I need to catch up on and I don't want to have a bunch of open snacks that'll go bad so that I can enjoy and savor and tell you next time how I how my box was. Um, my last box was um, Thailand. Very, very good snacks. Um, I was very impressed with those. They all tasted really good. The only thing I didn't really care for was a big seaweed stick. Um, otherwise than that, I was happy with everything. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is drink my beverage and that'll be on the, um, for tomorrow. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's dive into this. We're going to see what we have and we're going to start at the top here and we have something that says Huevo Frito. So this looks interesting. This is El Valle Huevo Frito. These uniquely flavored savory chips have an uncanny resemblance to actual fried egg. You might have just found a perfect breakfast substitute. Sounds interesting. I like eggs, so that'll be okay. A familiar brand to all of us here all is Ruffles. So these are Ruffles Jamon, a national favorite in Spain. These wavy potato chips feature the salty and savory flavor of the revered Spanish ham. Ooh. Okay. Ham chips, sounds interesting. Ooh, oh, gummies, anything gummy I like. These are, oh, so the chips you can get in the mini box. These you're gonna find in the original box, in the bigger box. So it's these mango flavored gummies combine just the right amount of fruity sweetness with a surprising kick of fiery heat. The reason why I jumped over to this to snack crate from um, Tokyo Treat, and it's nothing against Tokyo Treat. I love them. Um, I just wanted to kind of like uh, look around and try something different and something new and get uh, different countries and dive into different countries snacks and see what they have. And um, I haven't been disappointed yet. so. That's a really, really good. Found in the original box, we have these. These look like, uh, there's this Vinny Ladrillos. They're chewy strawberry gummies coated in sour sugar and filled with a mild sweet cream throughout their brick shaped center. Ooh, those sound good. Strawberry and gummies. Double gummies in this box. All right, next up, it, they kind of remind me of goldfish a little bit um and this one is found in the mini box that's what these look like 
Espazos Electrico. These little star-shaped crunchy corn snacks may be small, but they pack a spicy, cheesy flavoring that is shockingly delicious. Ah, reminiscent of goldfish crackers. They kind of, that's what it reminds me of. I can't, I can't help myself. All right, these, the next item that is in the mini box is Galatis con Cirellis. And I'm butchering all this. I know I am, and I do apologize. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. Delicious biscuits made with crunchy cereal and bits of blueberries, semi-coated in smooth white chocolate. So it almost looks like little cookies. That's what those look like to me. All right, we have two little individual wrapped candies. These are picotas. These are in the mini box. These bright red candies feature a crunchy, sugary outer layer with a soft, gummy center bursting with cherry flavor. Okay, cherry candies, you got me there. I live in Michigan, Traverse City. Well, I don't live in Traverse City, but I've gone to Traverse City and Traverse City cherry anything. Send it my way, peeps. All right, the next thing is the Finney Roller, which is in the original box. This, which claims to be the longest candy belt thrown. This fruity roll-up will take your taste buds on a tart trip with its intense sour flavor. Another gummy type thing. Perfect. Bocaditos Lyman. These are in the original tasty sugar cookies sandwiched with a zesty lemon flavor cream. Eat them in one bite or split them apart. No matter how you do it, they are always delicious. Oh, lemon cookies. I love, love, love. So that'll be another good one. Oh, so not only did I get two, but I've got two more of the cherry candies. All right, let's head Ambrosia's Terma. This is in the original box. This is a crispy, flaky wafer layered with cream and covered in a thick, luscious coating of white chocolate. Anything reminiscent to a Kit Kat with white chocolate? Yum. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we have another uh, chocolate covered wafer type bar. It's Mievel, and this is in the mini box. Mievo Tehran Vienna. Layers of crunchy waffle sandwiched together with creamy nougat then dipped in a rich chocolate to make an unmistakable flavor. Yum. I know, I should be tasting these, but give me a chance to get caught up with my other boxes and then maybe I'll start eating, but I'm not one to eat in front of people, so uh, I don't know. We shall see. Oh, there's even other things that you could have. Okay, there's other things that you could have received too as well in there. Um, well, it looks like in the if you got the bigger box, it shows some other different kind of snacks. So here is this. This is in the original box. This is Duclaso Palmeras. It's a crunchy puff pastry topped with a deliciously sweet sugar glaze. Try one with your Café Con Leche, which I'm guessing is coffee. So I may have to have that in the morning with my coffee. And that's it for the snacks. And now the last thing that we're coming up to is Kaz Nar Naranja. It's, this is made with real fruit juice, this tangy, fizzy, orange flavored soda adds a refreshing touch to any day or cocktail. Ah, orange, I love orange. So that is my snack crate box for June. Um, very cool. I'm glad, I've been, it's funny because I've been watching people's videos and it's, it seems like they send a different one to different people. So then we're kind of opening and like, um, my friend on here, Carlos, he just, go see his video. I'll link it down below. Um, but he got the Thailand box too, but he does the tasting. So I always leave the tasting to Carlos. So I, can, I love seeing his reaction. Um, so there's your shout out, Carlos. Um, so this was my box. Uh, very interesting. Uh, very neat. I'm looking forward to trying those. And I will let you know on the next video how everything worked for me. 
Um, I want to say this box is, I'll link everything down below, but I think it's 20, it's either 25 or 35. I don't remember with the beverage. Uh, so go ahead and give this a thumbs up. If you like to see the snack crate videos, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for some notifications and go ahead and we will see you soon. Let me know if you get snack crate or if you get something totally different, what you like about those boxes and we'll see you soon. Bye.